Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten into a Fade Dream controlled by a sloth demon, which apparently controls this entire section of the Fade, and trapped me and all my companions here, along with a good number of mages from the sound of it too. Apparently Nial, the guy who had the litany of Andrala, Andrala or whatever it's pronounced as, um, is also trapped here. So now we have to figure out what's going on here for us to then take on the sloth demon to get out of here. And then we can continue on with shenanigans involving the tower. Okay, I'll help you. And I killed it. Mage Apprentice. Oh, I'm on Firestone. Thank you, but too late for me. Too late Kill for you. Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Mm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Shapeshift available. What? Oh no, he died. Oh no. But he did tell me to kill Yavina, who is apparently the lesser demon that controls this section of the Fade. Which was Nial's assumption as well, that there was demons controlling the Fade sections that are surrounding the sloth demon as a way of protection shape-shifting what is that about advanced oh the mouse form allows you to pass through openings that are normally too small for anything else it also allows you to remain hidden and pass through certain areas unnoticed now why would i do that if i can just go through Oh, well, hi. How about we... Don't do that. And instead, murder. There we go. Good. Very good. Alright. So, we've passed through here. Which is good. The what? Uh, every time I transform it, Turns off everything. Oh, now that's going to be a problem. Disturbing statue. What is this? Beyond the veil, spirits and demons. It's challenging enough for the casual observer to tell the difference between the Fade and the creatures that live within it, let alone between one type of spirit and another. In truth, there is little that distinguishes them, even for the most astute mages. Since spirits are not physical entities and are therefore not restricted to recognizable forms or even having a form at all, one can never tell for certain what is alive and what is merely part of the scenery. It is therefore advisable for the inexperienced researchers to greet all objects he encounters. Okay. Typically, we misuse the term spirit to refer only to the benign, or at least less malevolent, creatures of the Fade. But in truth, all the denizens of the realm beyond the veil are spirits. As the chant of life, the uh, chant of light. I can talk, really, I can. As the chant of light notes, everything within the Fade is a mimicry of our world. A poor imitation, for the spirits do not remotely understand what they are copying. It is no surprise that much of the Fade appears like a manuscript translated from Deventer into Orlysian and back again by drunken initiates. Fair enough. In general, spirits are not complex, or rather, they are not complex as we understand such things. Each one seizes upon a single facet of human experience, rage, hunger, compassion, hope, etc. This one idea becomes their identity. We classify as demons those spirits who identify themselves with darker human emotions and ideas, which explains sloth, uh, rage, Desire, uh, hunger. I think that's it. Or there's more. I don't remember all of them. 
I think that's most of them, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably most of them. The most common and weakest form of demon one encounters in the Fade is the Rage Demon. Really, that's the weakest one? Seems like it should be stronger. They are much like perpetually boiling kettles, for they exist only to vent hatred, but rarely have an object to hate. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Somewhat above these are the hunger demons, who do little but eat, or attempt to eat, everything they encounter, including other demons. This is rarely successful. Then there are the sloth demons. These are the first intelligent creatures one typically finds in the Fade. They are dangerous only on those rare occasions that they can be induced to get up and do harm. Desire demons are more clever and far more powerful, using all forms of bribery to induce mortals into their realms. Wealth, love, vengeance, whatever lies closest to your heart. Oh, the pride demons. That's what I was forgetting. The most powerful demons yet encountered are the pride demons, perhaps because they, among all their kind, most resemble men. Fair enough. That makes sense. Okay, and we're done here, and... Hey, we're back here. Well, I say back here. Not really sure what I'm looking at. Not really sure what I'm looking at here either. It's like a ghostly door. Hmm. But the mouse guy did say that some of the keys may of be course. in other realms. Hmm. So the mouse form here. Hmm. The mouse is good for small openings to get through. But this requires a different form. Interesting. Well, hi there, Mr. Lesser Shade. What you doing? I think you Better question. There we go. Okay. And the Lesser Rage Demon. That was quick. Alright. And another Lesser Rage Demon here. Guarding the door, basically. And down. Wow, that was quick. That was insanely quick. Well, I am back here. Something happened, didn't it? Yeah. You look a little different. Well, I mean, what happened? I became a mouse. Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? I saw the tiny holes. It's a phrase. I thought you'd given up. Why so excited? I... I don't know. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Well, I've proved you, you wrong. you learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Maybe. It's an idea. If nothing else, it's an idea. This is also one of those ghostly doors, a little more corporeal, but I can't go through it. At least not without the right shape, I guess. Oh! And now I've opened up the other pathways. inner sanctum. <laughs> I have a uh, buddy who is very... <laughs> uh, Kurtza, 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 I'm calling you out here. You didn't pick an original name, did you? Uh, Kurtza, you adorable cheap butt. Chi being cheetah, but yes. Okay, I'll probably throw a picture somewhere on this so you know who I'm talking about, if you know who I'm talking about at all. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> the inner sanctum. That's what he calls his Discord server. Oh, shit. 
Okay, um, the Darkspawn Invasion. Ooh, interesting. Let's go in here and see what's up with this section. Well, there's a little haystack there with the mouse hole, which tells me I can transform into the mouse and go through that route. At the very least, if I can't open the store, which I can't. But I might just explore that anyway. Just because I can. Ooh. All right. Apparently there are multiple avenues I can take here. Interesting. Go through here. Oh. Oh. Well, um. There's a lot of fire in here. But I'm gonna turn on everything because I have a feeling that the thing standing in the fire is an enemy. I'm correct! Flaming Dark Spawn. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> that was quick. Okay. Well, um. Can I go any further? I can. I can go further. Exploring these things. I'm sure the fire is very real, so I'm not gonna bother trying. To see if that's the case or not. Alright, time to take you out. Did Okay, there we go. I was honestly about to think that they hexed me, and I was going to be angry. Well, I can't go through that door. Go to the fire kind of surprised it's still standing due to the fire. Okay, um... This is where it's going to get really difficult. Oh, I see. Alright. Might as well turn that on. Turn this on. And turn that on. There we go. Beautiful. And down you go. Good enough, I think. And I've cleaned out this little pocket. Whatever this little pocket was supposed to be. Just enemies, I guess. That was all it was. Well. Cool. Okay, now it's saving. Why are you saving? Am I taking the critical path on accident? Yes. They won't find you? you. Well, I guess I moved. No. And so much for uh, you hiding. I'm just gonna save you now. Dark spawn spirits? They have spirits? Well, I got a level up. Nice. I'm gonna kill this one. As much as I can, anyway. I'm gonna kill it's helping the other one. They're gone. You, you did it. Yeah. You killed them. I did. Thank you. But not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. Oh. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. See. Okay, I got another shapeshift available, but I want to see what I can do with my attributes, among other things. Um, hmm. I should up some of my other stats. 
like willpower and constitution. There we go. That's not bad. Perfect striking. That wouldn't be bad. Constraint would be good. Reducing the penalty to stamina regeneration would be fantastic. Especially since I can't do any of these yet. Key phrase, yet. I should be able to soon. Alright. Reducing the penalty is probably the best choice of action. Massive door. I can't open the massive door, but what is the other shapeshift? Spirit. The spirit form makes you more resilient to magic, but is vulnerable in physical combat. It also allows you to see things that are normally hidden in the folds of the Fade. So that's what that is. Essence of willpower? A permanent increase to willpower? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What was, what was my willpower at before? I forget. I'm sure most of it's being changed by this form. 20. It's plus 5. Contributes to mental resistance, too. Okay. Okay. So apparently in that form I can see those and interact with those and get permanent stat boosts, which is cool. Okay. The saving thing is going to make me worry a little bit more. Kill them all. Yeah, probably should. And done. Got it. There we go. There you go. Bye bye. Is there any more? There it is. Okay. Down you go. And I guess that's it. Cool. The spirit. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. This was the door I saw that was on fire. Interesting. So it is giving me ways to traverse around here that otherwise I couldn't. There's a fade pedestal here, which tells me that maybe I need to move on, but... I feel like there's things I missed. And there probably is. So I've already cleared this area out, so we won't bother with the ore. Or. I could. Oh. I guess moving changes. Okay. Moving affects the ability to follow through on changing forms. Good to know. Good to know. And I move faster as my base form. Fair enough. Alright. Yep, this was the door. I was correct. This was the door. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just going to travel around until I oh, run into something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so much for that. Uh, go to mouse. Hmm. So I went this way, but I didn't finish the other way, did I? I don't feel like I did. Oh! Essence of cunning. Permanent increase to cunning. Kind of curious if 
this sees anything. Nope. Does not. Not in here. Okay, well, so much for that. Yeah, so moving does interrupt the transformation. Okay, fair enough. Okay. All right. I think I'm getting the gist of it now. The real question is now... Does... I guess we'll go back here. To coup de gras. <laughs> I guess the question is, at this point... Do you have anything else to say? That's not surprising. There's no way out. Oh, now you're starting Every to get depressed about that. Every you think, maybe this step will take me home. But you'd be wrong. Okay. So are the Blood Mages responsible for all this trouble? Aldred is the mastermind behind it all. Oh. At Aldred's suggestion, the Circle was about to ally itself with Loghain when the Tern's treachery was revealed. Oh. Aldred made excuses, but we were having none of it. He panicked then, tried to leave. Irving would not let him. So what did Irving plan to do? I don't know. I don't believe we got to that part. Oh. I was barely paying attention. Such meetings are boring. The course of action usually decided before we even congregate. I see. So it definitely went faster than you were expecting. So are you sure you didn't make a mistake? Some things make you sit up and pay attention. What happened was one of those things. Fair Aldred enough. let loose a bolt of energy that flung us all against the far wall. That woke me up. I bet. It might have been a signal. That was when a whole group of mages poured into the chamber. Oh. And that was when I saw real blood magic in action. Oh. For the first time in my life. It was like they brought the wrath of the Maker himself down upon our heads. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The abominations, where did they come from? I was just getting to that. Good. Aldred must have also dabbled in demonology. When the fighting started, he tried to summon something. Uh, some things. Oh. They overwhelmed him, and when his screaming stopped, Aldred was... That doesn't sound pleasant. I'm sure he wishes he were dead. Aldred became an abomination. Oh. And when I saw it, I oh, ran no. for my life. Oh, yeah? I've fought an abomination before. Oh, have you? I doubt you've seen anything like this before. Okay. Aldred is a powerful mage possessed by a mad thing that cares not a whit for human life. The abomination you met cannot compare to him. I, I about gathered that. some of my fellows and we obtained the litany from the stockroom. Mm -hmm. I thought if we disabled the others, we could throw everything we had at Aldred. Gotcha. But I saw my friends fall one by one. And now it's my turn. No, don't be like that. Don't be like that. There's got to be a way out. I don't want it to end like this. Do you feel it? It's getting so cold. <laughs> don't you start. Don't you start going on me, boy. Okay, that's not a path I can take, but I'm curious to see if maybe the spirit has a new way to traverse this area. If nothing else, it's worth a try. Okay, there we go. And we go through this. Fair enough. Oh? Oh, I can go through the door here now. Oh, I see. 
I see now. I can attack these things. Okay. What is this? Essence of Dexterity? How? Oh. So this does have attack capability, unlike the mouse, which doesn't. And gave me permanent bonus to Dexterity. Cool. But I can't get out. That being the spirit. Okay. So spirit door is what those are called. Interesting. It's just faster to run around in my human form. It's way faster. Okay. So that means... I can go through that. I wonder, can I talk to <laughs> Nyal? Okay, I guess I can't talk to Nyal in spirit form. Okay, spirit door. Take you on? Well, hi there. Alright, well, time to turn back and do physical attacks. And, oh, oh. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I can't do anything. <laughs> can't do anything while I'm stuck like this. Okay. Well. I am now frozen. That's not good. Come on, let me do something. There we go. And down. Whew. Might as well use this. Hey, there we go. I've taken out Yaniva. Good. Good. Is that essence of willpower? Cool. Wait. Wait, we've taken out the demon here, but there was one of those. One of those in the place I started. Is that... Is it possible that I can get to that? Ooh, Twisted Structure. What the hell is this thing? The Black City? No traveler to the Fade can fail to spot the Black City. It is one of the few constants of that ever-changing place. No matter where one might be, the city is visible. Always far off, for it seems that the only rule of geography in the Fade is that all points are equidistant from the Black City. The chant teaches that the Black City was once the seat of the Maker, from whence he ruled the Fade, left empty when men turned away from him. Dreamers do not go there, nor do spirits. Even the most powerful demons seem to avoid the place. It was golden and beautiful once, so the story goes, until a group of powerful magister lords from the Tevinter Imperium devised a means of breaking in. When they did so, their presence defiled the city, turning it black, which was perhaps the least of their worries. Is that? No, that's a whole different thing. But that... Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the Black City. It's hard to tell, unfortunately. Everything is so distant from each other, it's hard to say. Maybe that's it. Who who could say? Who could say? Really, I don't I don't know. I have no fucking clue at all. I know I don't have any fucking clue. But Oh, I could use that again? Oh cool. Alright. Anyway, go through the spirit door, there we go, and here we are. Cool. So, let's go... Okay, we've cleared this one. The raw fade. Let's go back to where I was. And maybe... 
because I don't want to miss out on any permanent buffs if there's a way to do it. Essence of willpower. Uh, is my willpower actually still going up? I'm at 50 in here. <laughs> that is exactly what's happening. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't even have to worry about stats again. <laughs> wow, okay. All right. So let's go here. Okay, this is a weird bug. Okay. <laughs> Whew. I was going to get a little concerned there for a second. Okay, well. This is the fade pedestal where we left off here. So I guess we'll move on to another realm. The Templar's Nightmare. Uh-oh. That can't be good. And also, that plane is flying rather low. That can't be good either. I could hear it. <laughs> Way too much. The Rite of Annulment. Oh, this tells us how that works. Okay. In the 83rd year of the Glory Age, one of the mages of the Navaran Circle was found practicing forbidden magic. The Templars executed him swiftly, but this brewed discontent among the Navara Circle. The mages made several magical attacks against the Templars' vengeance for the executed mage, but the Knight Commander was unable to track down which were responsible. Three months later, the mages summoned a demon and turned it loose against their Templar watchers. Demons, however, are not easily controlled. After killing the first wave of Templars who tried to contain it, the demon took possession of one of the summoners. The resulting abomination slaughtered Templars and mages both before escaping into the countryside. Jesus. The Grand Cleric sent a legion of Templars to hunt the fugitive. They killed the Abomination a year later, but by that time it had slain 70 people. Divine Galatea, responding to the catastrophe in Navarra and hoping to prevent future further incidents, granted all the Grand Clerics of the Chantry the power to purge a circle entirely if they rule it irredeemable. This rite of annulment has perf been performed 17 times in the last 700 years. Wow. So they have to really fuck up for them to pull the rite of annulment. Which, I mean, makes sense, I guess. Door. Okay. I need to put abilities on because if I run into I combat do. I'm going to die without them of course cool all right now, yep better than later uh, it was a good thing I called that oh I triggered a trap get on it. it's funny that I'm running into sloth abominations when, you know this whole place is run by a sloth demon this is codex about Maleficarum it has been asked, what are the Maleficarum? What shall, how shall we know them? I have been as troubled as, by this question as you. I can't read now. I don't know what happened with the last one, but I can no longer read. <laughs> you have come to me for the wisdom of the Maker, but none have seen the Maker's heart save beloved Andraste. And so I have done as all mortals must, and looked to the words of his prophet for answers. And there... I found respite from a troubled mind, for she has said to us, magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Therefore, I say to you, they who work magic which dominates the minds and hearts of others, they have transgressed the Maker's law. Okay. Also, Our Lady said to us, those who bring harm without provocation to the least of his children are hated and accursed by the Maker. Okay, so this is starting to sound very you know, proper religious e, And so it is made clear to me, as it should be to us all, that magic which fuels itself by harming others by the letting of blood is hated by the Maker. Those mages who honor the Maker and keep his laws we welcome as our brothers and sisters. Those who reject the laws of the Maker and the words of his prophet are apostate. They shall be cast out and given no place among us. That explains the apostate name. Okay, fair enough. Cool. Oh boy. Oh dear. Okay. And do this. I 
can get away with this. There we go. Beautiful. Essence of Dexterity. Nice. So it was defended by a Blight Wolf, but nonetheless housed something good for me. Cool. Alright, so this was all that was in this room. And I'm going to turn this off so I can walk around a little further. There was also a mouse hole here that I probably should have visited first. Oh! I triggered a trap. Oops, Noodle. That's not good. Well, we killed that before it became more of an issue. Uh, still triggered a trap, though, and it's going to hurt for a while. A long while at this rate. Jesus. Okay. Finally. Stopped. Jesus. All right. Um, well, good thing I can make these while I'm here. <laughs> Only spellcasters can use it. Well, that makes sense. Uh, if only I had improved herbalism, I could do a proper health poultice, but it's fine. It's fine. I can't do that. I was, <laughs> no, it's more like I'm not going to let you do that. But okay, whatever you say. Oh! This little section fade portal brings me here and then this fade portal brings me there okay so it's a small avenue I already used this so I guess we'll use this whoops that's not the right one this is the right one oh, well hi the oh my god <laughs> Well, all right, time to get ready for combat. <laughs> okay. Ow. I always hate that one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Did I move? No, I can't move. Okay, I'm stuck in a wall. I'm literally stuck in a wall. I'm screwed unless I can move. Get on it. Okay. There we go. Stunned. Fantastic. Uh oh. I'm going through this whole motion. And. Dead. Beautiful. Alright. I'm going to keep getting attacked by hunger abomination, though, I guess. Beautiful. Ow. Okay. That was something. All right, so we're in a completely different area now. I don't want to take that fade portal. I might just teleport me back to where I was. And I can't go through that. But I can let them go to me. Hey, there you go. Bye-bye. Oh, ow. Well, I can't walk through that. And I can't go into this. Balls. Alright. Well then, where does this take me? It takes me over here. Ah, okay. Well, there's nothing more I can do here. Because there's no other avenues I can take at the moment. So I guess we'll move on to the Mages Asunder, or whatever the hell that is. Okay. Two mouse holes, a massive door, and a normal door. Well, I guess we'll go through the normal door and see what's up here. There we go. Explore it. Oh, have you? Because right now you're not doing a good job at stopping. Well, that did. Okay, come on. Come on, give me the health poultice. There we go. Oh, you're kidding. You did the hex, didn't you? You bastard. Okay. And it's dual striking. Yeah, I can't 
inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. So I need to allow for critical hits to happen so me attacking can actually do something. Because the hex only allows critical hits to be normal hits. And therein lies the problem. Every other normal hit would miss, whereas the critical hits would be the actual hits. But if I can't do critical hits because of the hex, then I'm not allowed to attack, basically. Goodbye. There we go. Much better. What is this here? Nothing I can interact with, that's for sure. How about now? Yes, Essence of Magic. An increase to magic. Not sure if I needed that, but it's probably got its own benefits. History of the Circle. It is a truth universally acknowledged that nothing is more successful at, it, at inspiring a person to mischief as being told not to do something. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Chantry of the Divine Age had some trouble with obvious truths. Although it did not outlaw magic, quite the contrary, as the Chantry relied upon magic to kindle the eternal flame which burns in every brazier and every Chantry, it relegated mages to lighting candles and lamps, perhaps occasionally dusting of rafters and eaves. I will give my readers a moment to contemplate how well such a role satisfied the mages of the time. It surprised absolutely no one when the mages of Val Royo, in protest, snuffed at the sacred flames of the cathedral and barricaded themselves inside the choir loft. No one, that is, but divine Ambrosia II, who was outraged and attempted to order an exalted march upon her own cathedral. Even her most devout Templars discouraged that idea. For 21 days, the fires remained unlit while negotiations were conducted, legend tells us, by shouting back and forth from the loft. The mages went cheerily into exile in a remote fortress outside of the capital, where they would be kept under the watchful eye of the Templars and a council of their own elder magi. Outside of normal society and outside of the Chantry, the mages would form their own closed society, the Circle, separated for the first time in human history. And that is why the circles are a thing. That explains a lot. And can't trust anybody, especially each other. Oh, the solution is so simple. We kill. Kill everyone. How delightful. I see enemies ahead. Okay. So that's their solution is kill. Kill everything and everyone. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Time to do a little of that myself. Oh no, here I go killing again. There we go. Well, I mean, probably shouldn't exclaim that that loudly. <laughs> Yeesh. Wazers. Okay, well. Did it. Oh, well, hi there. A servant. Okay, well, this seems weird. Being attacked by servants. All right, all right. I'm assuming that's it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Another door. Oh. Well, that way is barred. So now to funnel back from everything I passed. And we start with this mouse hole. This mouse hole goes to this one. Cool. All right. That is the massive door I can't cross. This is... I don't know what the X in the middle here is, but I guess it's where the fade pedestal is, so I guess that's what that means. This mouse hole goes to here. And gives me a font of strength, which gives me an increase in strength. Abso-fucking- 
Lovely. Hierarchy of the circle. Oh, so this tells me the rank's going on. Okay. It is no simple matter safeguarding ordinary men from mages and mages from themselves. Each circle tower must have some measure of self-government, for, for it is ever the Maker's will that men be given the power to take responsibility for our own actions, to sin and fail as well as to achieve the highest grace and glory on our own strength. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. I can get behind that. You, who will be tasked with the protection of the circle, must be aware of its workings. The first enchanter is the heart of any tower. He will determine the course his circle will take. He will choose which apprentices may be tested and made full mages, and you will work most closely with him. Assisting the first enchanter will be the senior enchanters, a small council of the most trusted and experienced magi in the tower. I can talk. From this group, the next first enchanter is always chosen. Beneath the council are the enchanters. These are the teachers and mentors of the tower, and you must get to know them in order to keep your finger on the pulse of the circle, for the enchanters will always know what is happening amongst the children. All those who have passed their harrowing but have not taken apprentices are mages. This is where most trouble in a circle lies, in the idleness and inexperience of youth. Yeah, true. The untested apprentices are the most numerous denizens of any tower, but they more often pose threats to themselves due to their lack of training than to anyone else. That makes sense. Okay. That makes a lot of sense and is pretty true. Okay, so we've exhausted basically everything in this section since we can't go through a massive door and we have no other options. We move on to the next thing, but I should probably turn on all my abilities first. Oops! Turn that off on accident. I meant to turn this on. And there we go. And with that in mind, we have exhausted everything in the Mages Asunder and the Templar's Nightmare, at least as far as we can go. The Darkspawn Invasion also. So we have to move on to the Burning Tower. And saving content, and we're here. Alright, and already we have a mouse hole there. That probably leads to the other side there. I'm not sure what would be over there, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Hey, I love cliffhangers. I'm a douchebag like that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to figure out the fade. And I think I got a basic gist of it going. The real problem will be figuring out where to go. And how to not miss out on some of those stat bonuses that we've been collecting so far i want to get every single one of them so that way in the future i don't have to worry about stats all that much just need to worry about getting other abilities tacked on which hopefully won't be too bad it should be soon that i won't have to worry about it should be soon how soon who can say i know i can't but we'll figure that out as we go on for you.